Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing my August favorites with you guys and I have stuff ranging from makeup to fashion to music and k-dramas so well, let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is this Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. I talked about this in my last K-Beauty haul. This is just a primer for your face and I just like to put it on my cheeks and on my forehead. Those are the areas where I get really oily throughout the day. And I do have to say that this controls my oil quite a bit. I still do get oily a little bit at the end of the day, but overall throughout school my makeup looks fine. It doesn't look shiny, it doesn't look greasy. There is a really really big difference on the days where I do use this and I don't use this. I use this basically every single day of the week now. A little bit. Uh, next makeup item is this Etude House lipstick. This is part of their Chiffon Lip Talk line and it's in the shade BE110 Kidari Goshi Pon Beiji. And it's just a really natural looking rosy shade. I have it on my lips today. But this is what the shade looks like. It's a really nice kind of toned down rose shade. I feel like it would look really nice on people with warm toned skin. I am quite yellow and this looks very nice on me so if you're yellow this is gonna be great for you. Next up are these Momo Up oil blotting sheets and Momo Up actually contacted me. They're a brand based on Amazon. They only sell on Amazon so it's legit. It's safe to buy from there but basically these are oil absorbing sheets but they're in a roll and you just open it and then you get some and you rip it off. I personally really like them because they're not bright blue Blue, like the clean and clear ones. Um, if you use those in public and they turn like translucent, it's low-key really nasty. But these ones are a pale pink and they don't really show when they absorb the oil. It gets clear but it's not as noticeable as the bright blue ones. And also the packaging is really really cute so that's always a plus. Next moving on to the fashion items, I just have this choker right here. I got it from Forever 21 and it was about like three or four dollars and the band itself is like one of those velvety material things and it has a nice circular charm on it. And this just looks really nice with off-shoulder tops or just basic crop tops in general. I like to layer it with a tattoo choker. If you pair these two, they look very nice. They look good with any boring outfit. Last item of my favorites is this pair of shorts right here. Uh, they look really ugly like this, but if you put them on, they are beautiful. These are the American Eagle 360 Super Stretch High-Waisted Shorts. But I have been wearing these like crazy during the summer. They have a really flattering fit. They're super Super, super comfortable. These are just my favorite pair of shorts that I own at the moment and I just really really like them. So the songs I've been listening to this month are Think About You by June K, Comfortable by Simon D, Grey and One, Puzzle by CJM and BY, Blackpink's new album, Hayes and Dean's Angelai, uh, Why So Lonely by The Wonder Girls, Aying by um, Oh My Girl, Secret by Uju Sonyo. Highly, highly recommend to check those songs out. They are quality music. And then for K dramas, of course, I haven't really seen that many people watching this drama, but it's called Age of Youth or Chungchun Shide. Some people that come out in it are Han Seungyeon from Kara, Ryu Hyung, the ex member of Tiara, Park Hae Su. I didn't know who she was, but apparently she was on some audition program or whatever. So the, basically, the plotline of this drama is that there are five girls living in one house. Their roommates, or I, I don't even know what they are. They like they just all live together because it's cheaper to live together. But basically, every single person has a story of their own. What I like about this drama the most is that they don't focus on just one character. In the beginning, they kind of alternated one episode the main character was one of the girls and then the second episode another girl third episode another girl this is one girl's Hong Ji Won and then she claims that she can see ghosts I don't, I don't want to spoil it for you guys so like I don't know what to say but I just love all the characters so much and you just have to watch it to know like I'm so bad at describing things it already ended so if you don't like waiting for episodes it's all out go and watch it in a day I don't know do do you I'm so sad it ended I don't know what to watch now. Uh, the movie favorite of this month was The Beauty Inside. Han Hyoju comes out in it, the main character of W, I think. It's about a man that whenever he wakes up, he wakes up as a different identity. It can be a boy, a girl, a grandma, a grandpa, a little kid, a foreigner. He wakes up as a different person every single day. It's a really funny movie because he falls in love with Han Hyoju. Like that's impossible because like he's a different person every single day. So um, he stays up like three days so that he can meet her every single day. Yeah, it's a really interesting movie and it's really funny and sad. Uh, they have it on Netflix. I tried looking for it everywhere else. The only place they have it is on Netflix. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this movie. It's such a good movie. There are a lot of cameos in it. Seo Kang Jun comes out in it. 
Lee Hyunwoo, Lee Dong Wook. Oh, Park Shin that comes out as one of the characters that he changes to. You just need to watch it. I'm not gonna say anything else because I just want you guys to watch it. That's it for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.